13 twisted. This is my hood. I'm from Crosstown. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm gonna give y'all the inside of my life where I'm from. You know, this street right here, Journey the Anderson. You know, I'm gonna be testing You know what I'm saying? Like this, this, this where it all started from. This where it all started from. This, this, this how this this street here, this Anderson street, it run a long way. So it's like many memories down this street. You know what I'm saying? Like. Um, this is my grandma house, you know, I talk about it in my song, Brazil de Blanco, you see it right here at my house, you know what I'm saying, that's 908, you know, um, shit, you know, my uncles and all them shit, they trapped in these same ones, right, across, 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 you know, so you got all three of these, you know, all, uh, all on the money spot, see, this, 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 this spot right here, you know, this is right here, you know, doing whatever we do. Lifestyle. They love my whole lifestyle. They really do. We give you a little tour, you know what I'm saying? A little insight on a lot of stuff though that's coming through over here. You know, it ain't I ain't gonna say like we the poorest or we the richest, you know what I'm saying? Because we kinda it, if you look around it's money everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's what you what you tend to get engaged into, you know what I'm saying? Like shit. So you got plenty of hustlers, you know what I'm saying? You got Dude over here, he fixed on lawn mode. You know what I'm saying? He been doing this for a while. He, 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 he. But you see a lot of business come through here. You know what I'm saying? As far as people dealing with them. You got the bootlegger, you know what I'm saying? They sell hot sausages, shit, sodas, cigarettes, blunts, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, you name it, they got it. They, and they 24 hours. You know what I'm saying? They like the corner store. They 24 hours, man. All right, I'm going to show you this here. So, like living out here, you know, what's your experience going out here? You know, it, that in, like in, embedded you to be like a rapper. Like, how could you explain to the people? Because this is like where you're from was raised, right? Yeah. This is so, I'm like, from. you know, speak about that. Like, you know, how did that make you to who you are today as a rapper? A lot of the things that I see, you know, what I'm saying, like I, I grew up right here. My mama went to prison. My daddy went to prison, well, the, the dude that took care of me went to prison, you know what I'm saying? He ain't my biological dad, but he my dad because that's all I knew for a dad. You know, before I met him, my mama was my mom and my daddy. You know, I never knew my real dad and my biological dad. I met my biological dad, shit, after me starting, you know, making a name for myself doing music. These apartments right here is called Molly World, you know what I'm saying? So, a lot of people I knew, you know what I'm saying, stayed over here. A lot of money inside these apartments. Um, my mama going to prison, like nobody gonna take care of you like your mama and your daddy would do. You know what I'm saying? Like nobody gonna take care. I don't care what they tell you. Mama, nobody gonna take care like your mama and your daddy. So me experiencing my mama going to prison and I'm finding out just a, so much of a little that people do for you. I had to figure out what it is I want to do. You know what I'm saying? Shit, I work a nine to five. You know, me working a nine to five shit. It wasn't enough money because I also had my brothers and sisters. You know what I'm saying? That I had to take care. I had more than just me. You know what I'm saying? I had and, my and I had to pull up on. I just called her. Just pull up on her. Be nice. Right yeah. you know so I had to. I had to do like um. I had to figure it out, you know, me working the nine to five, me trying to pay for my mama up here to bring her home from prison or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and me doing my music. Shit, I became a hustler, man. I'm a hustler of all trades. I'm selling half, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing music. I'm doing all types of stuff through my music, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm talking about my lifestyle. I'm talking about me growing up, being raised over here across town, you know what I'm saying? Like, me having to deal with the police, to the haters, you know what I'm saying, to the... the to the, to the fake family, you know what I'm saying? To everything, you know what I'm saying? To the fake friends, people that say that, you know what I'm saying? They support you or whatever, they fuck with you, but you gotta understand, they fuck with you on it as far as like, to the level they wanna see you at. You know, they don't wanna see you doing no bigger than them. Soon as you start doing bigger than them, they'll magically start this hating this beef shit, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't weather the storm for everything that came with me. I feel like it's deserved how I walked through the courts. I kept my head up even when my head should have been down. You know, it's not now a day that I, I gave up. It's a lot of motivation. Cause like I told you, you know, you look through, you see Jays. It's what you tend to put yourself into. You know what I'm saying? What you tend to engage in. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Like, I just knew it was a lot of people around me that I didn't want to be like. You know? Like, it's a lot of people around me that I didn't want to be like. I ain't got no college degree. 
know what I'm saying? Like I graduated high school, but I wasn't able to do what I wanted to do because my mama was in prison. You know what I'm saying? So it was like shit. inspired with my music I said you know what I'm saying I know I got talent you know but outside of talent I know I got a story you know what I'm saying I got I got a dedicated hustle you know what I'm saying I'm like so I just kept doing everything I seen the most I, I look at people I say you know I don't want to be like that I look at a house you know what I'm saying even though we surrounded by these small houses when I'm traveling and I'm doing stuff I go ride these big things you know what I'm saying with the matches or whatever you want to call them five six bedroom I ride through it just so I can get that certain feeling to know that shit is where I'm going at you know what I'm saying this is what I'm hustling this is what I'm this is what I'm riding you know what I'm saying this is what I'm trying to get myself at or whatever so that you know that feeling when you find that comfort that and you find that that is like I'm not just riding through this neighborhood as a pedestrian you know what I'm saying I'm a resident it done been plenty of times I go through other neighborhoods you know what I'm saying the police stop me and so what you doing over here in this neighborhood I tell them all the time I say you know what I'm saying I'm preparing myself like I'm preparing myself, I'm preparing myself because I know there's something, you know, they think it's funny. You know, a lot of times they think it's funny, but I can say this here, like, I know, I know I'm still going for it because at the end of the day, shit, like, everything I told myself during the time of me rapping, I only been rapping two and a half years. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't seen a lot of stuff that I said I want to get done, accomplished, you know? Yeah. So, I grew up at the community center down here. Straight ahead, we got the community center, John S. Jackson Center, you know what I'm saying? I went to summer camps there, different summer camp programs. I met a lot of nice, you know what I'm saying? Like wonderful people though. W wonderful people. You know my neighborhood, even though it's my neighborhood and this is what we call the hood, you know what I'm saying? It's small things, but it's also big things that I don't see produce from out of this same hood. You know, for real, for real. Like it, it's what you put your mind to that, that, that really gets you dedicated and motivated towards it. Or, and if I could ask, you know, being like younger, living over here, has it changed your neighborhood since now? Mm. In the terms of like the houses, probably new development, stuff like that, was it, yeah, did it always look like see this? Yeah, because you doing, you see they're doing some building over here. You know what I'm saying? It's just the field. This, this field here? Yeah. This field, you see, if you can see they're doing construction, they building, they building some nice houses. You know what I'm saying? Like this field here, used to just be just a field and we play in it. We have block parties in it. You know what I'm saying? You had the guys pull their cars up, jam music and stuff. You know what I'm saying? We actually got a block party tonight. We got a block party going on tonight in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. And like, like now, now, like now, we, when we see the children, we see different vendors. You know what I'm saying? Like we had this thing where it's called like the pop up shop. You got people making stuff, selling stuff or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Me growing up, shit, the block parties was. You put, you put the kids in the house and all the adults come out the door, you know what I'm saying, shit. We probably been in the house, we hear gunshots. Hear gunshots, shit, we was always told you, lay on the floor, lay on the floor, you know what I'm saying, they shooting, they shooting out there, but we always heard the parties and stuff, you know what I'm saying. A lot of stuff still the same, like the children, they can come out the door, no matter who they pull up on or whatever, you know what I'm saying, like they can get, um, they can get them a, um, they can get them a dollar, you know what I'm saying, no matter what block you pull up on, like you can always get you a dollar too, you know what I'm saying, to go to the store. You know, or whatever, like, I don't know. Like, it, 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 it's, it's the same in ways. So when I be seeing you know, I just remind, I be like, you know, that was me. That was me, you know what I'm saying? I see a lot of the kids, they pushing them lawn mowers, you know what I'm saying? They out here working, they out here, some of them trying to work, you know, because they, oh, can I clean your yard, you know what I'm saying? That was us, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Like, when I look back, like, it's just, it's just so many memories over here, you know what I'm saying? A lot of motivation, a lot of motivation. A lot, of, when I tell you, like, it's a lot of motivation, man. Like, it is, it is. It is, like, cross town it ain't all bad how they make it seem. But it's bad, though, you know? Like, the conditions-wise, it's bad. But the hustle-wise, the mentality, the mind frames, I can say this here, no matter what somebody do over here, they dedicated to it. They're a crackhead, shit, they dedicated to being a crackhead. Every day they wake up all day, they dedicated to being this fucking crackhead. If they, if they, if they saying that they're a hustler, entrepreneur, they dedicated to getting up and they being that. Well, no, no matter what they decide to pick or choose, you know what I'm saying? Like they, they, they dedicated to that. They dedicated to it. Word up. And like a business, I know you um, you, you be selling weave. Am I not mistaken? I've seen it online. Mm -hmm. Talk, talk about that. How did that start for you? You know, start doing that. Um, my name is Six Thirteen. I love to have my hat there. You know what I'm saying? Six Thirteen is the hat color. You know what I'm saying? I'm always wearing blonde. I got my hairstylists. I deal with two hairstylists here in my city. Whichever one available, you know what I'm saying, at the time for me to get a Pacific style or something. They both raw and fly. People always, oh, your hair is so beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Your hair is good. Your hair is good. So me saying, you know what I'm saying, like in me buying hair, I'm buying wigs at $800 a wig, you know? Like, 
bundles, four hundred and five hundred dollars bundles, you know, and clothes and shit. So I say, you know, much as I'm consistently buying this house and I'm buying this house, I'm making somebody else rich or whatever, and I'm getting compliments. And I'm, you know, I'm getting caught up and say, oh, who you got your hair for? And I'm, oh, here. I say, you know, the best thing I could do, I can get my own hair. I can get my own hair. So when people ask me, oh, who did your hair? I can say, this is who did my hair. But where you got the hair from? This is my hair. This is my hairline. You know what I'm saying? 613 Twisted Savage hairline. Definitely. You know, that, that that's what motivated that. You know, women buying hair. I don't give a damn. Even if they say they broke and they don't got no money. They going to find a way to make them some money. You know what I'm saying? So that they can go get their hair did. You know, you're gonna meet them always cute with they had did, but fucking broke. You know, you ain't never met them with that they had did and they broke. They gonna, they gonna have they had did, you know. They got to have they had did. Jeez. But, uh, you know, memorial stuff out here, stuff that um is like known on this side of town, if, if not on Orlando itself. What do they have out here for the people that are watching that might not know about Orlando that you could tell them? Oh, man, they come from this this neighborhood or even anywhere else out here. Okay. I know we got, we're close to downtown, right? Yeah, we're close to downtown, but it's a lot of spots and stuff before you even get to downtown that's like, it's actually lit. You know, we go on Palmo, we got everybody know Lick the Wall. Lick the Wall used to stand on Anderson, which is this street here, and Palmo, it's a, it's a corner store called Tip Top that sit at the end. Everybody know Tip Top. Everybody know lick the wall, you know what I'm saying? And when you ride past, you be like, lick the wall. And he'll just take off and lick the wall. And the wall is so dirty and mill doing everything. But he'll lick the wall, you know what I'm saying? So everybody, they be like, oh, lick the wall, lick the wall. How you doing? They, oh, lick the wall, lick the wall, you know what I'm saying? They just saying, like, oh, lick the wall. And he'll just turn around and just lick the wall, you know what I'm saying? That's one thing. A lot of the corner stores, like, going back towards that way, you got Jackson Street corner store. Um, also a landmark, you know what I'm saying, many different artists that's rapping, you know, whether they from our hood or not, they like to pull up, you know what I'm saying, to shoot them a video at that corner store, because that corner store there is like, it got it, it got a name for itself, you know, a lot of people know it's well known, up here where we walking at, you got big bees, I'm walking you towards this way because this side of the branch is where I came off the porch, once I got here, you know what I'm saying, like, this, this, this side of the bridge is where I came off the porch as I got older, but what we going on this side of the bridge is where I actually grew up at as a child, you know? Yeah, is it two different neighborhoods? No, it's the same neighborhood. It's all one neighborhood, but you had the beef, you know what I'm saying? Like, you had the beef. Like, it's, it, it's one neighborhood, but it's, it's divided into three, you know what I'm saying? So you had a beef or whatever. Like, when I was growing up, the side that I'm from is on this side of the bridge. I couldn't come on this side, you know what I'm saying? A few times, me and my sister, we came on this side of the bridge. We don't have to fight our way to get back towards this way. And as we got older, as we got older, the fight it went to, now we got to shoot our way just to get back to this side of the bridge because we knew we had no business over here. You know what I'm saying? So we all, family all, was getting them calls. Hey man, you know what I'm saying? Your nephew done back on that side fighting again or going through it or your, your nieces done back on that side fighting and going through it again. You know what I'm saying? So it was just pretty, it, it was pretty much kind of different, you know? But it, it like I, I can say this here, like it was well worth it because I saw the, the other stuff, I learned how to fight, you know what I'm saying? I could fight. I love to fight, you know what I'm saying? I feel like fighting, it, it gets more out of it. I could pull out my gun, yeah, you know what I'm saying? But then I'm going to take control of the situation. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean that they're just saying that shit that you bought, but at the same time, if we get out there and we fight like how we used to fight back in the days, shit, I feel like it got more out of it, you know what I'm saying? Because regardless of whatever the beef was, you know what I'm saying? Regardless of whatever the beef was, you knew that you come with me. And we ever got out there, you knew you come with me, so whatever you saying, it's like you still got to keep that to a minimum because you know we probably done fought 50 times. And you didn't get one yet, we probably fought 50 times and you only won two. So, you know, it became kind of different though, but it's definitely inspirational. Like, and I told you I came on this side of the bridge when I was 22 years old. I came on this side of the bridge when I was 22 years old. But I spent most of my 13, 14, 9, 8, 7, 6. This was it, you know. This ain't what it's gonna be like you want to. I go in this corner store, I don't have to have no money. Grab what I want. I started out stealing it. I used to be so short. I come through that account and sit so high. I ain't come in that grab something, I wanna hurry up and run out. You know, me and my brothers them like it used to be funny, man. You know, you get the people that come out of chases and stuff. Shit, this this street here, Quill, definitely got a name. Back in the day, from the older guys, it was called Underworld. You know what I'm saying? And 
Underworld, everybody know, like like you were saying, like different landmarks and stuff that's around the city. Underworld, everybody know Underworld from grinding on Jernigan, you know, which was my uncle's done. Jernigan shit, they, they, they end up going fair, you know, they went raw, they hit a couple banks. When it went, it, it, it went viral, they went to, um, what it was called, somewhere in Louis, Little Rock, Little Rock, Arkansas, you know, they put it on the news, raw the banking. End up getting caught, you know what I'm saying? They're coming back towards this way, but we always knew that shit. And anytime they, this wasn't the first time, you know, it wasn't the first time, like, anytime they made it back, they blessed the hood, but they blessed this side of the hood, because I told you it was like segregation. So this was the side where the children knew what shit, we got it, we got it. That side was always like the poor, poor, because they ain't had the niggas that was like coming out doing, giving back to the community, you know what I'm saying? Doing stuff, doing, you know, I don't care what it was, you know, it may have been small, you know, my come out the door. When we stayed in the projects, we stayed in the projects that's actually behind here, called Griffin Park. You know what I'm saying? Got, you know what I'm saying? It's good to see you know, you know, These projects right here, they used to be called the port. They used to be called the port, man. They done built them up, you know, made them nice. And, you know what I'm saying? Did a lot of changes. This same community is saying, I grew up over here and this is my first job. We got to go over here because this is my first job. I'm going to let them go. Yeah, we go, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I started out being a, 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 a member of this, of this Jackson Center. Summer camp, after school program, etc. You know? And then as I got old enough, they hired me at 14 years old. I was the lifeguard, man. I used to be, I used to work the pool over here. This is my first job. Like this, this is my inside of my life. This my, this, this where I come. This community center got summer programs, after school programs, man. We got, we got a gym in there. We got a, a computer room, you know. Also got a tennis court and stuff back here. Like I hung out on all this, all this whole pavement. A lot of these spots out here, we don't fold it. You know what I'm saying? We don't hung out and have fun at. We don't have from baby showers to parties. You know what I'm saying? The general review, everything. Like, it all came from right here. All day we'll sit here. You know what I'm saying? We'll play in the park. We'll play in the park or whatever. Sometimes you'll be like, we'll be sitting in the park right here. And you get them from the other side. They'll pull up and stole those and come and come shoot at us, man. We had to run. We had a little cut back here. So if they came this way to come shoot, sometimes they used to come through the field. They used to come shoot straight through the field. You know what I'm saying? Either we at this part or we at the red part, but we had so many cuts. Through here that you can you can run from. You know what I'm saying? Like you can run, you can get away, and then of course you know you know everybody over here in the neighborhood. So, so you can just run in by the house. You can just run in by the house. And we used to sit here and rap too. We sit here and rap. We sit here and rap all day, man. Play, run back and forth over here to Big B's. This was my first job. I was a lifeguard. I got this job when I was 14 years old. I was in the eighth grade actually. I was in eighth grade. I was 14 years old. I, I I became manager actually my by the end of my ninth grade year. I was in the ninth grade and I was a manager of this pool here. The neighborhood I already know because you know what I'm saying, this is where I'm from. But this this pool right here, like the, the, the city was always known as like the worst pool. Nobody wanted to come work at because they bad. Shootings, there's all types of stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, hell don't want to work there or whatever. I'm like, hey, you know, that's my neighborhood. They had me put way somewhere else in somebody else's neighborhood. I'm like, oh, you know, like, let me work in my neighborhood. When I got it, shit, I became manager because I can control the neighborhood. You know, I know everybody that's over here. How they disrespect everybody else. If they close the pool down, the kids jump over the gate, you know what I'm saying? That do whatever. They weren't doing that with me. They weren't doing that with me, man. In the corner store over here, we got to go in the corner store, man. We got to go over here and beat you. You call this store Big Bees. We call it so big B. I got I got I got my other grandma that stay back here. You know, that's where we have Thanksgivings and stuff, you know, a lot of the family put togethers, you know. Definitely. What else you wanna ask me? Man, so in like in like a radius or like cross town, like how big is it compared to like other neighborhoods in Orlando? Cross town big. Cross town big because I know other hoods that is just like a it's like just a subdivision. Okay. You know? Like we pretty big because cross town runs from 50, which is Colonia and Westmoreland, all the way until the number streets, and that is Cayley. 
So you got from Westmoreland and 50 all the way till you get to Cayley. We could sit across town. When you start going into them number streets, that's a whole nother hood. You know what I'm saying? Like we go to reaching like 23rd and 22nd and stuff like that. Like that's not cross town. But among the little radius we got, our hood is broken down into different sets. You got Jackson Street, you got Anderson Street, you got Randall, you got L Dogs, you know what I'm saying? You got Griffin Park. We break down into about five, six different segments. segments. You know what I'm saying? But when we all in the club or we all party, it's cross town. You know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't in there breaking each other up or whatever, but over here in the hood, shit, yeah, we beef amongst each other. Yeah, we beef amongst each other. But outside of that, nah. Well, why is that, though? That, um, like we just said, you, you gotta probably be hanging out in Benson, you know what I'm saying? And everybody be together, but once it comes back to the neighborhood, it's uh, segregation, separation, and everything. Like, why is that, you think? Because growing up, when we was a kid, there was a couple of people that ended up getting killed. And it's, it's, it's really the bloodline and the families that's, that's in the neighborhood, that segregated the neighborhood, you know? So, remember I told you, I say, I grew up on this side of the bridge, right? I, I grew up on this side of the bridge, but my mom bought her first house. It was built from the ground. I know we had got a habitat house on the other side of the bridge. So, when we used to walk back and forth, you know what I'm saying, even though I stay on that side of the bridge. I'm gonna come hang where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? My segment. Like this what grew. I had no control over that when my parents decided to move. You know what I'm saying? So you got some people that they hated that, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, so it used to be, oh, you gotta catch them before they walk. And like we know that they're gonna get up and they gonna they're gonna be walking home. So if we had to walk home, my whole little segment right here, they'll walk us home. You know what I'm saying? Big group just in case something pop out. Oh, we know we all together. You know what I'm saying? So a few times like I could say a couple people had on got caught, you know, the ones that did move on different parts, whether it's from that end to this end or this end to that end, they end up losing their lives, like walking home. So, you know, people felt some type of way about that, like, oh, they got killed over there and y'all twerked so shit, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Y'all did that, yeah. We just gonna go on and break this shit up. Like, it's just different. You can't tell nobody how to feel about they family. You know what I'm it's like, if something was to happen to one of my bloodline, my brothers, you know what I'm saying, my sister in another segment part of the hood, shit, I'm gonna feel the same way. Like, I'm gonna come down there and tear that shit up every time. I'm gonna come tear it up. I'm gonna come tear it up. Every time I'm bored, I'm gonna come tear it up. That's what they used to do. So, over time, you know what I'm saying, you get people that don't grow up or whatever. You know, you say, oh, you know what I'm saying, like, that's old, that's old, that's old. You gotta think about the ones that come up from up under us, they seeing that and they knowing the beef and they falling along with it. Shit, they saying they don't like the other side just cause they know we don't like the other side. They ain't got no reason not to like the other side. They just said they don't like the other side. Now this big bees. What's up? All right, now this corner store here. He went back here back in the days. You know what I'm saying? Like they just got. I'm doing the interview. I you, he he wasn't back here back in the days. You know what I'm saying? But this corner store here is definitely like a memory. I grew up in this store. Remember I told you the counter real high. Used to be about this high. You know what I'm saying? Coming in here, stand me a couple snacks, and I shoot out because you see he got the. He got to come from around her, so I be gone. He, by the time he come from around her, I be gone on about my business, whatever. We had a lot of the guys, you know what I'm saying? They used to hang out up here. I come up here, I get a lot of dollars. You know what I'm saying? The same, the football field, this this field right here in the middle, the football team practice up here, so at a certain time, you know what I'm saying? They be all up here, the kids come. All the dudes that hang out up here, you know what I'm saying? Like shit, they'll, they'll, they'll let them come through here, you know what I'm saying? The coaches, whatever they want to get. Shit, it used to be, I remember I seen the Duke boys jump out up here one time, and the niggas got on the roof on them. And they're like begging them to come out the roof, come out the roof, come out the roof. And they ain't come out the roof. They yeah, man, a hood full of straight cats and dogs. You gonna get that a lot. You think you gonna, you definitely gonna get that a lot. You know what I'm saying? Oh, what's up, bro? What's up? This is the neighborhood barber. Oh, he cut everybody out. You know it. Growing up, he cut everybody out. And he got the dogs. And he used to have the dogs. I don't know if bro still got the dogs, but he had the dogs. Like, if you want a dog, if you want to buy your dog from him, or the Alvin, you ain't have yourself nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, had top of the line, bloodline dogs, you know what I'm saying? Like, fine, whatever, like, whatever it was, you know? They had it on point for it. What else you wanna know? Shit. Um. This what? underworld, I'm twerking. You know? So, this, this back up there, this one up there, all of them came up there, you know? House out the house, this house, this house. There used to be houses right here, you know what I'm saying? You can still see, if you look through there, you can still see the cut, where the cut is taking. What's up? Yeah.
Oh, this Scooby. Y'all probably seen Scooby in one of my videos. Oh, you doing the documentary? Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, anything with Twitter. <laughs> I support that music. Support that music, you know. Scooby is awesome. Support that music. Most definitely. I appreciate Please support you. that music. Cross town classic support Twist. <laughs> when I say recognize a real lady in charge. And that's what I mean. First lady queen of all. Tell them motherfucking niggas to drop their draw. We gonna talk all day. That, that, that part. All right. I'm talking about support that music. One hundred, you go. So, you know, this, this, this is pretty much my hood. Like, we, we don't cover the top pieces. We don't cover the top pieces. You ain't see the front of the back, which is the Palmo. You know, like when people say cross the town, a lot of people familiar with Palmo. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got a lot of stuff that don't change around. A lot of houses done been towed down. A lot of houses done got towed down, you know what I'm saying? Like, but besides that, it's still a love, you know? It's still a love, there's a lot of motivation here. A lot of support here, you know? Regardless of whatever, like, there's a lot of love and support here, you know what I'm saying? And I, I like that most most definitely, you know, from anything. I like that most definitely. Okay, what up, what up, that's just up. And um, you were just talking about, like, you know, Paramore. Like, why, why is it that people are, are more noticing Paramore when it comes to Crosstown than like, probably, like, the other streets? Is there a reason? Because Pamo been there for a while. Pamo have a lot of the graffiti, a lot of it that they've been a lot of a, a lot of um a lot of the graffiti, you know. Um see this end where we at, they don't start cleaning up on you see a lot of the building, you see a lot of stuff cooking down. I used to be housing right here, a lot of stuff down. Pamo still got a lot of stuff up there. Um and also, you know, they just put the soccer stadium right there on Palmo. So, you know, Palmo, they building, they knocking and they building. But over here, you know, they already done came through and took what they gonna take. They still taking, but you know, they know they familiar with Palmo more than anything. You know, like you, they, they get lost up in because it's a lot of one way streets. So that's why you get some people that say, "Oh, I'm from Cross Town," and they be like, "Oh, I'm from One Way." You know what I'm saying? Which means they hang on a one way. Like the street I'm on, Anderson, that's a one way. You know. Um, South Street, that's a one way, you know, so you, they're gonna break it down. I told you the hood break down into different segments. It's cross town, which is the top peak. But when you break it down, it's different segments. They, they, where they be like, oh, what you on the one way? Or you, no, oh, you know, shit, I'm on the one way. Other people may not be on the one way. What up? And when you started rapping? Oh, I started rapping two years ago. I always knew how to rap, but I'm gonna just say this here, like, cause I told you I grew up rapping at that same community center up there with the dude. I said, okay, now nah, I'm gonna give them me because I got a story behind my hustle. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know I got the talent. I got a story behind my hustle and my grind, so I feel like I got something that I can talk. You know what I'm saying? To get to the streets, to deliver to the streets. So I'm a rap, you know, and I started rapping two years ago. My mom been home, what, three, three, three years now? I started rapping two years ago. That's what it is. What's your, what's your uh, plans, you know what I'm saying, with this music? What you oh, want, man, what you want to accomplish? What I want to accomplish, you see this neighborhood? I know what it's like to come from the poor to say you won't, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I know how it is, like they say, oh yeah, they bad, they are just a third. Like when I look at my own, you know what I'm saying, me coming up in the community, I know what a person actually needs. You know, you have these people that say they're going to be in politic areas or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And they, they they be out here fighting for the poor, saying, oh, 
supporting it, it's supporting it. And we don't need none of that shit though, what y'all saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need organizations that actually know what it's like to have to work a nine to five, but the money ain't enough, you know what I'm saying, to pay the bills and feed the children or whatever and give them certain clothing and certain children because your mother can be at work doing this, but here all along, you know what I'm saying? The child gonna jump off the porch or the child gonna be out there doing whatever because it may be other stuff that they see they want because they in school getting cracked on because they probably be less fortunate. You know what I'm saying or whatever. So when I say I wanna give back, I wanna take my music and I wanna give back, but I wanna give back to the hoods, not just my hood. I wanna give back to the hoods, you know what I'm saying? To the poor community, stuff that's valuable. Stuff that they can use, you know what I'm saying? I remember shit, our lights was off, but my mama going to go stand in lines for these couple things and say, oh, y'all come over. They giving us stuff, they helping stuff or whatever and shit. They giving us turkey boxes full of shit. Like, we ain't got no lights to cook none of this. You know what I'm saying? Give us programs that we can come to and it'll pay our light bills. You know what I'm saying? Give us programs that we can have put in place where it come on, let's cross the street, where it could pay our rent. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. Or programs that we could put the children in where shit, you bring your, you bring your grades or whatever. You get a nice pair of Jordans. You know what I'm saying? Or whether you get these, these Nikes and shit that you want, like, I'm gonna get back shit that's valuable, you know what I'm saying? Stuff that keep a child on their feet so it's like, it don't matter, you got it. You know, a child, like, a child ain't care if they went out there and robbed to get a ticket from somebody, you know what I'm saying? The only thing they knew was they're gonna put these nice shoes on their feet and they got it. But guess what? Them same pair of shoes may have fucked up their fucked up they life because the way they just went and did it, not somebody done called the police on them. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever, like, shit, only thing they knew shit, I just wanted me some shoes so I can go to school. I just wanted me this so I can go to school. I just wanted me some clothes or whatever so I can go to school and how they looking at like, oh, somebody just committed a crime. Let's go get them. Oh, we're going to take them to juvenile. Like, y'all so quick to take them, take them to juvenile instead of giving them the help that they need because a lot of people committed these crimes because it was necessary to do so. You know what I'm saying? So you can't, you can't really condemn. So with my music, I'm trying to give back stuff that's, that, that, that's valuable to the community. Stuff that they gonna need, stuff that they can value, like they can get that they can remember. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, I got this help from this way. You ever got help from an organization or somewhere, you know what I'm saying? You know, like you got this help from this way, so you spread the word. You know? Yeah. I got help from this way. Oh yeah, girl, call them. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh bro, go there, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. Like you don't see people doing that no more. You see people out here trying to figure it out and figure it out on their own, but everybody mind don't think the same, you know what I'm saying? Everybody mind not refined redefining or structure to think on they think the right way sometimes the way they think in the land them behind bars when they want trying to do nothing but feed their family or something so it's like if it's in my way or my help or my will you know what i'm saying like if i'm in a position to do so like i got the one that i know you know what i'm saying like i know it's like coming from nothing and trying to get to something only thing you need somebody to do shit is come take some weight up off you that's it right up right up well, I appreciate you too, you know what I'm saying? Taking me a tour through cross towns and everything. For the people that are watching, where can they find you on social media and everything? Oh, man, my name is 613 Twisted. You can find me on all platforms. When I say 613 Twisted, it's spelled 613 T W I S S Y. And no matter if you type it in on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Spotify, whatever, wherever you type it in, it's gonna come up, it's gonna bring you to my music, my platform, no matter what it is. You know what I'm saying? You can also catch me on stage class the weekend. You know what I'm saying? Performing at the car show. I got many shows and stuff that I'm always doing. Tap in with me, reach out, let's talk. You know what I'm saying? I also like to pull up, you know what I'm saying? A lot of community events with us. So it don't have to be always something about music. It could be something where we just talking to the community. We pulling back, you know what I'm saying? A structure or plan as far as like what we could do to help out here. That's it.